Uh, listen, folks, this wasn't the result that, uh, that we wanted uh, as a party. But I'll tell you, we left it all on the ice out there. We fought hard. And I, I have to say, I'm, I'm so proud of the candidates across this province that stood for office, that really stepped up, showed an incredible amount of bravery and tenacity, people who just really care about their communities and, and want to help their province. And I'm, I'm so sorry that I couldn't get this over the line for them. But, but hey, it happens. And, um, you know, sometimes you lose. But I'm really proud of the campaign that we ran. It was built on ideas, on policies, and that's what we kept it about the whole way through. It wasn't about personal attacks. It wasn't about mudslinging. It was about ideas that could really help people. And I think that really matters, because that's when democracy works the best, folks. That's when it works the best, and that's when we get the best out of it. I want to congratulate uh, Premier Houston. I want to congratulate uh, Ms. Chender. They ran incredible campaigns, and the people of Nova Scotia have certainly decided who they want to lead this province. And we respect the voters' decisions and accept with humility in our hearts and with peace in our hearts what they've decided tonight. And that's our job now. And I know a lot of people will have a lot of theories on, on uh, why this happened. But at the end of the day, this was my responsibility. And this loss uh, belongs to me and me alone. And I'm okay with that. But we've got to move forward as a party and as a community. I really want to thank our local campaign team, family, friends, the staff that came down here that have fought so hard, not just this election, but for the last 14 years as I represented this area. Uh, it's been an incredible journey, honestly. It's been such a rewarding job. Uh, in the honor of my life to serve the people of Yarmouth, to represent them in the capacity as MLA, and to be the first party leader from Yarmouth as well. I'm just sorry I couldn't be the first premier from Yarmouth. We'll have to wait another time for that. But I do, my kids are sleeping because it's late, but I do hope that they, uh, uh, they can hear this someday, is, you know, loss is a part of life. Cece's still awake. Loss happens, sometimes you lose, you get knocked down, and the most important thing is getting back up and how you get back up. And I want my kids to know that, I want the party to know that, and all of you who fought so hard on this campaign to know that. We've got knocked down, but we will get back up. Um, a, a real special thank you to my mother and my family and uh, everybody who fought so hard here every single day of this campaign while I was out across this whole province. My God, I'm, I'm, I'm so lucky to have the love of my family and the support of my family in my life. It really means the world to me. And I may just be at more Sunday dinners now as a result of tonight. Uh, my, uh, my incredible wife, Katie, uh, the real um, love of my life, the best decision I ever made was asking that, that wonderful woman to marry me. And I couldn't have done any of this without you, honey. And listen, sometimes even when you, when you lose, you, you win. And well, tonight we suffered a big loss, and that's a burden that I certainly uh, will carry with me for a long time. Um, I think we're just gonna win some more time together. And whatever happens next, honey, I'm excited to enter into this next phase of this incredible adventure of life with you, whatever that looks like. I love you so much. And I'm so proud to be your husband.
I, I, um, I don't know if the final numbers are in yet for our local campaign. Does anybody know? We're still close, so we're going to wait around and see what those are. But I want to congratulate uh, Nick Hilton and his campaign team on running a really uh, strong race here. And um, if they win tonight, I'll be the first to go down there and congratulate them. And I, I encourage everybody else to do that. Uh, this has been an absolute honor, folks. It's been an honor leading this party. It has been an honor representing this area. And certainly, I will be taking some time once we know what the final tally is tonight to discuss uh, my future, of course, with my family, with the local association, with the party, and with uh, those that are remaining in our caucus. And we'll certainly inform folks on what that decision is uh, later on. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for the incredible support over these 14 years. And to the people of Nova Scotia, thank you for this incredible honor of being able to serve as the official opposition leader. And again, I want to congratulate the Premier and, uh, and Claudia Chandra on their big wins tonight. Thank you.